Welcome to the official channel of Freight Freedom International. This is the first in a series of videos that we're going to produce. Today, the subject, the aims of Islam. Everybody should know what these are. We often hear the Muslims saying, hey, wait, those pictures do not represent the true Islam. These people are misrepresenting the true teachings of Islam. Islam doesn't teach that. How do we know whether this is true Islam or not? Whether the actions of these Muslims are results of the teachings of Islam? To know more, we need to dig deep into the Islamic scriptures to understand the behavior of Muslims. Let's examine the most authentic scriptures of Islam, that is the Quran. Chapter 9, verse 33. He it is who hath sent this messenger, the guidance and the religion of truth, that he may cause it to prevail over all religion. However, much the idolaters may be averse. Notice what the word says. It says the messenger, that is Muhammad, was sent so the religion of Allah prevails over all religion. A typical excuse that the Muslim provide here is that these words are taken out of context. To understand Quran in its context, one has to examine the writing of Tafsir scholars. Let's read what the renowned Sunni scholar Ibn Qatir has to say regarding this verse. This matter, Islam will keep spreading as far as the right, as far as the night and day reach, until Allah will not leave a house made of mud or hair but will make the religion enter it while bringing might to a mighty person that is a Muslim and humiliation of disgraced person who rejects Islam. One can read the full tafsir at qtafsir.com that's qtafsir.com. Now I want the viewers to please focus on what Ibn Qatir says. The tafsir says that Allah will make every single person to accept Islam and at the same time bring humiliation to a person who rejects it. This is the context of chapter 9 verse 33. One has clearly seen that context of the verse actually supports what we say. Now Ibn Qatar wasn't a Christian. He wasn't a Jew. He was a member of Faith Freedom International. He was a Muslim himself. And therefore what we say is confirmed by all these scholars of Islam. The same message is echoed on chapter 61 verse 9 and it reads as follows. He it is who hath sent his messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth, that he may make it conqueror of all religion. However, much idolaters may be averse. Now let's move to the second most authentic source of Islamic scriptures with the Muslims that is Sahih Hadith. Here I'm going to dissect the hadith into small pieces so that we can focus on hadith line by line. Sahih Muslim Hadith Book 019 Number 4294 Here is what it says. When you meet your enemies who are polytheists, invite them to three courses of action. If they respond to any one of these, you also accept it and withhold yourself from doing them any harm. Here Muslims are told that they meet polytheists who are their enemies. They are supposed to invite them to three courses of action. Now let's continue reading the Sahih Muslim Hadith for that know the three courses of action prescribed for the Muslims. Invite them to accept Islam. If they respond to you, accept it from them and assist from fighting against them. Then invite them to migrate from their land to the land of Mohirs and inform them that if they do so, they shall have all the privileges and obligations of Mohazir. If they refuse to migrate, tell them that they will have status of Bodwin Moilism and they will be subjected to the command of Allah like other Muslims. 
but they will not get any share from the spoils of war or fight except when they actually fight with Muslims against the disbelievers. So the first step is about inviting the Baldis to Islam and if they accept Islam Muslims are commanded to stop fighting. Further, this hadith makes a mention when Muslims who have just accepted Islam would receive spoils of war. It says that the Muslims receive spoils only when they help Muslims against disbelievers. Now the question to be asked is, what if they don't accept Islam? Let's continue reading the Sahih Muslim hadith further for the answer. Here is what it says. If they refuse to accept Islam, demand from them the jizya. If they agree to pay, accept it from them and hand and hold off your hands. If they refuse to pay tax, seek Allah's help and fight them. Now I want everyone to focus here. What if they refuse to accept Islam? The answer is that they are supposed to pay jizya, tax specially imposed on non-Muslims for refu refusing to accept Islam. If they do pay jizya, then there is no issue. But if they don't pay the jizya, then they are commanded to fight these people. Muslims often claim that these verses are revealed in self-defense. If that are, if that was the case, then the hadith would have said, "Fight them." If they fight you and not fight them, but if they refuse to pay jizya, jizya isn't any extraordinary tax like that which a common man pays. It's a tax that is imposed upon disbelievers for refusing to accept Islam and, and to subject them to humiliation. Here is the verse that makes it clear about what jizya stands for. Chapter 9, verse 29. Fight those who believe neither in God nor the last day, nor hold that forbidden which hath been forbidden by God and his apostle, nor acknowledge the religion of truth even if they are of the people of book, until they pay jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. So one can clearly see that jizya is a tax collected by Muslims when non-Muslims are under their rule so that they feel inferior or subdued. Anyway, let's quickly go through three self-explanatory hadith. Here is the first one. Sahih Muslim Hadith number 2889 Verily Allah has shown me the eastern and western part of the earth and I saw the authority of my Ummah that is the nation dominate all that I saw Here's the second one Sahih Bukhari volume 1 book 2 number 25 Narrated in Umar Allah's Apostle said I have been ordered by Allah to fight against the people until they testify that none has a right to be worshipped but Allah and the Muhammad is Allah's apostle and offer the prayers perfectly and give the obligatory charity so if they perform that then they save their life and poverty from me except for Islamic laws and then their reckoning that is account will be done by Allah. So Muhammad is commanded by his God to fight against people until they testify that only Allah has there has a right to be worshipped and Muhammad is his, is his apostle. Now let's see the third of the hadith which reinforces the same. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 60, Number 80. Narrated Abu Uraira. The worst is you, that is the true Muslims, are the best of peoples ever raised for mankind means the best of the people for the world as you ring them with chains on their neck until they embrace Islam the content of chapter 3 verse 1110 is found in Daba Hadith according to the verse Muslim are the best people because they will force the disbelievers until they accept Islam it should be clear to any sane viewer that Muhammad was commanded to fight on people until they enter Islam or accept Islamic rule and pay the jizya. They do humiliation and feel themselves subdued. 
So finally, let's see a quote from biographer of Muhammad, that is Ibn Isha, that reinforces our point, Isha 324. He said, fight them so that there is no more rebellion in religion. All of it is for Allah only. Allah must have no rivals. So to summarize, we have seen plenty of proof from Islamic scriptures which clearly express the goal of Islam. Are we still going to believe that it is the terrorists to misrepresent the teachings of Islam, as some Muslim claims? Of course not. Violent Muslims do not misrepresent Islam, but rather accurately represent Islam. We hope that this video was helpful to those who are interested in seeking truth. For those who disagree with whatever is being said in this video, we invite you to join our forum to comment, question, or refute any points. Please join the Faith Freedom Forum for the same. And link for the same is in as follows. You can also click the link below this video to go there. It is our hope that the viewers enjoy this video as there are many more to follow. So stay tuned. Thank you.